Hey guys, ID here. Welcome to this new series that I'm doing. It's I don't know. I haven't decided the name yet. It's uh, something to related with the person vlog or a Q and A thing. I'll put the name whatever it is. Um, so the thing is, this is a Q and A. I asked you guys to send me some questions, and uh, I'm really thankful. I got a really good amount of them and a really good quality of them. So let's get into it. <laughs> you make a BTS of your videos. Um, the thing is I started making these videos to show you my process behind my logo designs that I was posting. Um, so it's already a BTS of my process. Um, now if you want me to do a BTS of that, that would be the BTS of the BTS of my logo design process. Um, uh, I don't know if that would be interesting. Let me know if you want to see it. But basically the reason I've not done it yet is uh, you know, I don't have a really good setup. I have an iPhone 6s uh, that I've recorded the video with. Um, I have my MacBook Pro 13 inch 2015 model um, that I use to record the audio and the screen. Um, and uh, and I have a, you know, a crappy light that I made. Um, it's basically inside of a cardboard box, um, an LED bulb and covered with the tracing paper to give it a soft light effect. And that's, uh, <laughs> that's basically my setup. Um, let me know if you want to see a BTS of my video making process. I think that would be fun to do. Um, if it'd be interested, let me know. Okay, so this one's uh, quite interesting. What do you prefer, a developer who can code? No, a developer who can design or a designer who can code? <laughs> Sorry, I messed up the question part. Um, the thing is, I don't know because I think it depends on uh, your quality of work. Um, if you say you're a developer and you can design but the designs don't look good, then you're just a developer, right? Uh, if you say you're a designer and can develop but you can't develop websites, then you're just a designer. So I, I am not really a fan of generalization. I think that's what I tried to do when I started this off, but now I am only focusing on one thing, which is logo and branding design. Um, and uh, I think specialization is what you need if you actually want to win this game um, by winning I think I mean uh, you know increasing your value and actually helping your your clients so I think specialization is your key if you are a developer you are a developer if you're a designer you are a designer I personally have mentioned uh, a designer and developer in my profile as well but I am about to change that really soon I am uh, yeah a logo and branding designer now so yeah Thanks. What is your ultimate goal? Um, quite an interesting question. Um, I thought a lot about it. Um, the answer, I think the ultimate goal would be A, to be happy and satisfied, which I am right now, so I just want to keep that. Um, and the uh, secondary thing would be to help as many people as I can. The way I want to do it is uh, by this way, you know, like social media, I'm helping people, you know, like if you have any questions, you can um, DM me anytime. Um, you know, I share my process, I share my designs, I share, you know, tips and tricks, whatever I can. So that's me helping for free. The other thing that I want to do is uh, help businesses with their design things like branding, logo design, and whatever I intend uh, on doing in the future. So it's basically being happy and helping people. That's it. Uh, how are you, bro? Um, really nice question. I'm good. Um, how are you? <laughs> Do you follow minimalism in your designs? Um, well, I don't follow any hard and fast rules in my designs, um, but uh, I think with minimalism, you mean removing as much elements as possible to get to the, you know, the thing that you're trying to achieve. Um, and uh, most of my designs do show that, um, but I think it depends on the needs of the client, the type of company, the type of field that I'm going for. Um, uh, and uh, yeah, so there's no hard and fast rule that I follow, um, but it's just something that I like and something that suits with the, the feel and the, um, the values of the company. So that's what uh, I'm all about. Thanks for asking. Um, what is a branding style guide? Uh, we would love to learn it from you. Um, well, actually, I am also learning branding, so yeah, I don't have a you know clear idea what it is. Um, I'm just trying to learn it. But as far as I know, a branding style guide is basically a framework, okay, that you give to your clients so that whenever they need to produce some branded content and to have a you know a unified feel across all of their things, okay, um, they need to use a branding guideline. So what it basically has is logo, logo configurations, different configurations based on you know like this. 
the space that you're using the logo in. Um, it has the you know, typography, it has the colors, gradients, patterns, illustration types, photography types, music genres, um, the words that you can use in the language, the feel of the language. And I think uh, mission, vision, goal, it's, it's a complete mix of all of these things. But basically what it helps you do is maintain a unified feel across all of your content that you make for your brand and uh, anything that you make for your brand, basically, not just content. It can relate to the products. It can, um, you know, it, it can be included in, um, let's say, packaging and whatever. So this is a branding style guide according to me. I don't know what it is actually, so I'm learning. Um, but once I have a good idea, I would definitely make a video about it and uh, um, help you guys with that. Thanks. How can a fresher spread their art and design to a wider audience? Well, this is something that I'm trying to do and uh, so I have something that I can help you with, okay? <laughs> so yeah, so the first thing would be to have an Instagram profile, okay? So yeah, because Instagram is so popular right now, literally everyone is on it, so you need to have an Instagram profile. Second, you need to make it a business profile, okay? And third, you need to put out a lot of content, okay? As frequent as you can. Now, it's not just about posting content and forgetting about it. You need to use hashtags on it to get more eyes, okay? Um, a good starting point to look for hashtags would be to look, um, you know, uh, for similar pages, people doing, you know, similar things, and you look at the hashtags that they use and you, you use them, okay? Now, you reply to all of your comments and DMs that you get in. That's great, okay? Um, and uh, you follow people like you, and you go into their conversations, okay, to get more, you know, eyes. It's not basically you need to, you know, like say, I, you know, like come check me out or something like that. You just need to add something to the conversation, you know, bring your point of view into it. And another thing that I would suggest to you, um, if you want to reach for a wider audience, would be not just show your work, show your personality as well. Um, because, uh, yeah, ultimately, if you see a face or a person behind something, you can relate to that thing a lot more. Um, and so I think that's what I'm trying to do. It's just uh, <laughs> what I'm doing, I'm just telling you. Is, uh, um, I, I think it's working. Um, but if you need much more uh, tips and tricks, uh, not actual tips and tricks, but something that you can do, um, to get more eyes, I would highly recommend you to check out Gary V. Um, he's at Gary V on Instagram. Um, he is the guy to follow if you need any help with the, you know, like a business, entrepreneurship, a social media. He's the guy to check out. Thanks. What do you want to do? Build your own business or work for someone? Um, well, um, I change a lot. Okay. <laughs> so currently, it's uh, it's building a business. Uh, but if opportunities come along, um, like if uh, if there's a person who I really admire or I want to work for, I will work for. But uh, currently, it's uh, I'm more interested in working with someone than working for someone. Um, so yeah, it's a it's a business for me right now. But we'll see what happens <laughs> in the future. Thanks. Which is your favorite logo design by some other designer? really interesting question um this question is actually by lewis franz who i follow for logo design inspirations um he was also featured in my top 10 designers video so thanks a lot lewis for asking the question um so the favorite logo would be the coca-cola logo um that script font that they have um you know it looks good and it's uh, one of the most recognizable logos it's the second most recognizable logos globally the first one being the nike logo uh, the nike swoosh okay um, the thing that I really love about this logo is uh, the Coca-Cola logo is uh, that it it was designed when the company was formed, and the company was formed in 1800s, not even 1900s, so 1800s, which means it's, it's about 150 to 100 years old, okay, and it's still one of the best designed logos. Like designers, uh, like freshers, newcomers, and experienced designers do take inspiration from that thing even today that thing blows my mind <laughs> like <laughs> that is the best part about that logo and i really you know like i am inspired by it a lot um the fact that it is it's 150 to 200 years old is crazy that's it Thanks. for this one um i'll be doing more of these in the future so if you miss this one you can definitely hop on to the next one um and yeah thanks for watching stay tuned because more stuff is coming really soon okay bye